guys, it's Jeremy here with Metal Music Meltdown, back with another video. What I have today, guys, is the fourth installment of my hard rock slash metal CD collection. Uh, I've been really enjoying doing these videos. I just grab a couple stacks and show what I got. Kind of brings me down memory lane, seeing albums I haven't listened to it in a while. And kind of reminding me of albums I had that I forgot I even had some, at points. And uh, these aren't in any kind of order. They're not in alphabetical order or anything. My CDs are kind of stacked down there. If you saw the other videos, they're kind of just random. There is a lot of albums grouped together by artists because they did try to organize them by letter at one point. So some of them will be together and some of them will be kind of disjointed. But we'll jump right in, guys, so the video's not too long. Again, I grabbed two stacks here. There's probably would maybe 30, yeah, 30 CDs here. Um, first one here, I've got Ramstein. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, St. Jude's. Really good album from these guys. Love Ramstein. Obviously, it's in German, but I uh, love their music. Industrial. Really heavy, really cool guitar riffs. Really love this album. Good stuff. <clears throat> Another one from Ramstein. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. One of their older albums here. Really good stuff. Definitely check it out. Ramstein is definitely a killer band live. Probably the best band I've ever seen live. The, the show they put on is ridiculous. This is Rosenrot by Ramstein. Really cool digipack here. Love the artwork on this one, the imaging. Nice packaging on this one as well. Haven't listened to this album in a while. Actually, I'm gonna be able to pop it in later today. Really cool album. Really good stuff. And then we got another one here, made in Germany, Ramstein. Um, I believe I believe this is like a compilation album. Kind of a weird packaging. It's a little bit taller. But um, really cool stuff. I had to have it added for the collection. Yeah, that's 90, 95 to 2011. Just wanted to grab it for the collection. I think I grabbed it on Boxing Day one year. So popped up, I saw it on the store and had to grab it. And then what else we got here? Uh, we've got the greatest hits of the Ramones. I'm not a big punk guy overall, but I dig the Ramones. They have some really fun songs. They're not really a punk band by sound. They look punk, but their songs are more like old school rock and roll, pop kind of driven. They're kind of a weird band. They just definitely started the early age of American punk, but um, they sound more poppy rock to me, but cool band. Uh, the next couple here, we got Soil Work, um, Archangel, Archangel, one of the newer releases. Uh, this is obviously the um, band that uh, Max Cavalera started after, after uh, Sepultura. So I had to follow Max. I love uh, Max Cavalera, one of my metal heroes. And I pretty much love all the stuff he's part of. And this is another uh, Soulfly record called Conquer. Love the artwork, artwork on this one, really cool stuff. Like I said, everything Max touches is pretty much gold. I love his sound. He's kind of more tribal, primitive kind of riffing. Really cool stuff. And we got, it looks like some other Soulfly albums here. One of his older ones, Primitive. Pretty cool artwork on this one, kind of more um, like uh, from Brazil, like that kind of more local art looking one. Really cool stuff. And we got another Soulfly entitled Enslaved. One of the more newer releases, pretty cool album as well. Great stuff. And we got Soulfly, I think it's just called number three. Obviously one of his older albums from the band, really good stuff. And then we got Soulfly Prophecy, one of my favorite albums from the band, if not my favorite, definitely a standout uh, album for me. Love a lot of tracks on this one, really good stuff. And then we got Soulfly uh, Savages, this is a newer one as well. 2013, it's well, fairly new, 10 years old, but some good tracks on this one as well, killer stuff. And we got Soulfly Dark Ages. Does it show the year? I'm not seeing the year on it at the moment, but pretty cool artwork on this one, a little bit different. Pretty cool stuff. Definitely check that out. I'm always, I never know a distance to hold the CD. And we got Soulfly Omen. Another one of my favorite albums by these guys, a Digipack. It's got a bonus DVD on this one. It's like a special edition. Opens up like that, the Max on the back there. Good album, one of my favorites from the band. And the last uh, Soulfly in the stack here, Ritual. 
This is definitely one of the newest. Yeah, 2018. This is definitely one of the newer, the newest. If, I think it's the, might be the newest one. Really good album. Didn't disappoint. Loved it. Really killer stuff. I have most uh, most of Soulfly's albums. I think there's like maybe two or three I still need to get. You have 10 other albums. I'm not sure how many they have in total, but I think I have most of them. I think it's only a couple I don't I don't have. Uh, next we got Soil Work here, The Ride Majestic. Really good, melodic, uh, death metal band. Really dig these guys. They have a cool sound, great vocalist, great guitar riffs. I need to buy more of their stuff. I only have, I think, a couple of their albums overall. Um, so grabbing the next, next stack here. We got OK Computer by Radiohead, something kind of in a different realm. That 90s, kind of early 2000s, alternative, kind of experimental kind of stuff. Some prog elements as well. I really like this album. Big fan of Radiohead. I have this on vinyl as well. Really good stuff. And I've got Radiohead uh, Kid A album here. It's a weird packaging. Comes in like a, like a cardboard box. It's got the book and everything in there. Not a big fan of the packaging, but pretty fun album. And looks like the next bunch are pretty much my favorite band. I think they're probably all here. Uh, Opeth, Heritage. This is when they're going more straight into the prog rock kind of realm. Definitely one of my least favorite albums from the band, but Opeth doesn't really have a bad album. They're really good. I'm a big fan of the, the artwork on this one's cool, but I don't like the, the coloring with the artwork. I don't know, something with the coloring and the combination the artwork on this one, I don't, I don't dig as much, but it's, it's good, a good album. Uh, Watershed by Opeth, this was my introduction to the band. Probably their heaviest album and most brutal album, but really good stuff, one of my favorites. Probably top, it was top four, I think, in my ranking. Uh, one of my favorite album covers of all time, Opeth Still Life. I love when bands have this like hard cardboard, really high quality material, really good packaging on this one. Really killer stuff. I still need to buy a t-shirt um, for Still Life. That's one of my favorite artworks of all time. Even a tattoo maybe one day. I, I, it's one of the best imaging on an album cover I've, I've ever seen. And then we got one of their other great uh, classic albums, Ghost Reveries by Opeth, one of my favorites as well. Definitely top five album from them. God, they have so many great albums and just, they take you on a journey and everything about them is just killer. Vocals are perfect. Guitar riffs are through the, through the roof. Drumming is insane. Just everything about the band is really, really good. Uh, next we got Opeth, Damnation. <clears throat> the more softer record, but really killer stuff. Be just beautiful music. If you want to chill out with your headphones on, this is the album to do it. Definitely one of my favorite Opeth albums as well. And then we got the other uh, end of that uh, release, Deliverance. Yeah, Deliverance. They kind of released one three years back to back. This was the heavier album of the two, and then Damnation was the softer album. Both really cool, but just different. And then we got uh, Opeth uh, Sorceress. You probably recognize this from my top 10 list of 2016 I just did. Um, really killer album. One of my favorites from their straight uh, prog rock album era. Cool artwork on this one as well with the peacock and everything. Really cool looking stuff. And then we got uh, Opeth, The Candlelight Years. I came across this box set. Really cool stuff. I got it for a good price. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. And it includes Orchid, uh, Morning Rides, and the, your, My Arms Are Hearst. So it has like the first three albums in there. So I had to pick that up, really cool stuff. And I think the only Opeth album I don't have is the newest one for some reason. I never picked, I haven't picked it up yet. So it's been a couple of years, I need to grab the one still. Next we got Rob Zombie, um, Hellbilly Deluxe. Just a fun album. It's got some really fun songs on there. Dragula is the, obviously the big single for him, Living Dead Girl. Just a fun album, Rob Zombie has kind of a unique sound. Pretty cool live show too. And then we got Rob Zombie, Venomous Rat uh, Regeneration Vendor. It's a mouthful. So it's got kind of kind of the weird psychedelic 70s kind of looking artwork too. Pretty cool album, good stuff on there as well. And then we got Rush Gold. This is just kind of a best of for Rush. It's got some really good tunes on here. Spirit of the Radio, Xanadu, you know, all the big, big songs, Anthem, Fly By Night, blah, blah, blah. So good collection there of songs. 
And the last one for this video, guys, is Behemoth's uh, Demigod. I definitely have more Behemoth. I just must be in a different stack. Uh, this used to be my favorite album by Be 